And how old were you? 17. When I uh, when I raised uh, 33 million and uh, 19 by the time I lost it all. Austin reporting at South by Southwest with Ben Way. You are the youngest millionaire in Europe and then you lost it all after 1996. What was it like to lose 33 million dollars? Well it was actually one of the hardest times of my life. Um, I mean I didn't just lose the money, I lost my house, the girl I loved, my car. In fact I was so poor at that time that I couldn't even buy a tube ticket which is like a train ticket, right? So I was completely like, um, I was completely at rock bottom. And I honestly, I honestly felt that I'd never make a success of myself again. Um, tell me a little bit about the projects you're currently working on, including the island project on Kickstarter. So uh, I, I run an incubator, so we take really early stage ideas to market. So we, we do everything from like medical devices to uh, solar technology. But also, you know, I like to give back to the world and I have lots of crazy ideas and one of them is to build a floating island the size of Manhattan, which at some point I think I will do. And what is that going to look like? Well, basically it's a, a modular superstructure and the idea is to um, create a brand new society with no uh, overarching government or political rules. And uh, I call it like uh, the, the, the government 2.0 type model. So the whole idea is that everyone living on the island all integrates into actually making that uh, community and rules and laws. And it kind of covers everything from kind of geopolitics to technology. And the idea is it would be like a cutting edge environment for people to like build new things. You're quite young still, and this island idea was uh, put up on Kickstarter as just an idea, and now you've raised $25,000. What's the sort of divide between the people who are getting behind you on this? Well, the whole point of putting on Kickstarter was really to see if there was any traction there in the market for, for the ideas behind Ark Island, is what it's called. Um, and uh, now I'm just self-funding the project. Um, but the real, the real kind of people behind it are, you know, there's one set of dreamers who can kind of see the, the vision of it, but there's also a lot of doers who actually, you know, on a technical level, kind of understand the engineering challenges and, and the uh, infrastructure challenges required to do a project like that, which is obviously huge. I mean, I don't bear any bones about this. This is like a 30 year trillion dollar project. I mean, you know, it's not something that I plan to do like that. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a long term, a long term might give back to humanity, hopefully. But one thing you are trying to do right now is bring your solar company to the US. What is that going to look like? So, uh, Freetricity is my UK uh, solar company. We're now one of the largest solar companies in the UK, which given that we've only been going for two years, is, uh, is quite amazing. I mean, we turned over like 20 or 30 million dollars last month. And the idea is uh, currently we're raising half a billion uh, to hit the US solar market. What kind of extra activities are you doing to keep you focused inside the office? So uh, what, what most people wouldn't know about me meeting me in business is that I, uh, I love my extreme sports. So um, you can um, see me do everything from the flying trapeze to fire breathing, fire dancing, um, pretty much anything you could, you know, I'm a hang gliding pilot, pilot, you know, I just love exploring and, and doing stuff that uh, is a little bit more dangerous than my day job. Well, there you have it, Ben Way. I'm Sarah Austin reporting here at South by Southwest.